Hello everyone. Um, I, let me just introduce you myself. Yeah, check this out. This is like a pimple, like it's a monster. So let's just cover that up. Hello, I am Kristen and I am a third grade teacher. And so I have done some classroom setups and I have not taken you along through our first full week of school. So I'm gonna kind of um, show you around to kind of give you an idea. I had to do a lot of like arrangements. So I'm going to turn you around and show you. And then I'm going to make a list of things that I need to get done today. I wanted to come up here yesterday, but I literally just took the day to myself. Like I did nothing, well, besides cleaning the house in the morning, but I relaxed for the rest of the day. It was lovely. So I got a lot to do today. So let me turn you around and show you the classroom. So I'll start you over here. So I used to have my computer carts over here and I moved those over on the other side of the wall. These are gonna hold our vocab cards and then this is where I'm gonna write what we're doing for the week and then that leaves me space to be able to write and teach. And then here's my little podium teaching area and then the TV and then like our student section. So pencils, turn in bin, testing folders. My carpet is still not in. I think it was like September 8th is when it's due. Um, that scared me, something fail. Um, so I have my hand signals, calendar. This stuff hasn't changed really. And then my desk area. This is a massive pile of stuff that I just keep piling up on top of each other that needs to be put away. This is my stuff for planning. And then I just brought this stuff in. I need to finish grading papers. I need to pull out my vocab words for the week. I need to laminate those. Those are crate seats I still have not made. Um, so lots to do. All right, so I did change this up. So I added, you know, seating over here. So this could be like a calming corner if need be. And then my shelves are still not in. So. I used to have the bench up against this wall, but I just felt like it was just so, I don't know. It was just too much. We're gonna try this. I just moved this like this on Friday. So I have the seat and then the shelf in the middle and then the bench. And so once my shelves get here, then we'll figure it out. And then all this is still the same. These are my class book bins. They don't have to put them in number order. That takes too long. So I just tell them to put them up there. Okay, so this used to be over where the calming corner is, over there. Well, you can see that this desk set got in the way. They couldn't get to their mailboxes. So I moved them over here. And so I have my homeroom and then my second class over here. So it makes it convenient for them to be able to walk in the door and either put their papers away or grab their papers, one or the other. And then I have the computer cart out of the way, so it gives me plenty of space and room for them to be able to pull their computers. And like it being over there, it was in the corner and this group was in the way. Get what I'm saying? Okay. And so then I added my pictures. There's some pictures missing. I think there was a couple of years we didn't take a class photo or I never got it. I don't know, but I have some cheer pictures up there too. It was a cheer coach, our lunch choices. And then this is my second class book bins. They tend to want to put them in order, which is totally fine. And then just a little wrap around. So I have three right here because when I had it as a big group, this person in the far corner could not see the TV. So I have this group of three and then I have six and I have six back there and I have five and five. And then I have this extra table, which used to be the table back here. But once I moved everything, I really didn't need it. So it's additional seating. And um, I have a para in here with a student. And so they're going to utilize this table. He feels like this would really help them to be one-on-one. -on -one. And I said, absolutely. So yeah, that's my lunchbox cart that I was putting together. So anyways. There it is, lots of changes. You know, you just never know until you get into the group of things of how things are going to work. Um, these desks are nice, but they are really hard to come up with um, seating charts, seating ways. So yeah, anyways, 
Well, I'm gonna get started on making my list. Here's the list that I can think of. So I gotta finish grading papers and then file them in their mailboxes. I need a lesson plan. I like to type mine up. I have a written planner, but I like to type them up and print them off as well in a little bit more detailed. I have a stack to laminate. I have a huge pile on my desk that I need to figure out what to do with. I don't know, put it away, file, I don't know. Pull out my vocab cards, copy my morning work, which I have the hard copy, I just gotta copy it. And, create some cahoots for this week. And I'm just trying to think, I feel like there's something else I don't remember. Yes, I know, I need to do my crate seats, but I don't have a stapler, like, for the wood. So I need to get one at Walmart. Oh, on top of that, I gotta get gas and go grocery shopping after this, so yeah. Anywho, oh, I gotta write spelling words. Mm, 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 mm. Graded papers in their mailboxes. Holy. That took forever. Laminate, you know, took like an hour. Pile on my desk, I need binders. I need like my teacher binder and a sub binder. So, yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, so I have everything laid out. I have my book, my computer, and my planner. Now, this was just jotting down stuff quickly. Um, and that's probably what I'll do first is just jot everything down first for my worksheets and things that I'm going to do and then I like to type them up so then I can have exactly um, I can carry this around and it's just a piece of paper usually front and back so just 
more detailed than what this is. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start jotting down my thoughts here and then I'm gonna type it. So here we go. a lot longer than I wanted to because this week we have two really long stories and last week we had one short story and a long story so yeah not cool okay so we have Judy Moody the mood Martian so I'm going to introduce the vocab words and they're going to cut out the words and then uh, put them in a ziploc baggie for the next day we'll review we'll go over it they'll match them and then um, they'll put them in their notebooks and then on Wednesday, we will review the words and either play a bingo where I have words on the card and then they have to match the definition by me saying the definition and then they have to put on the, the word that goes with it. And then I have a vocab handout, which is this, nope, that's the, that's the cards are cutting out this side. And as you can see, it says Judy Moody Mood Martian. So we'll probably do this together. We'll, we'll alphabetize them. And then they have to look in the back of the book um, in our glossary, which is, we're thankful that they can do that. And so they will do that on Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm gonna try small groups this Friday. And so I'm gonna have a vocabulary small group. And since they did this with me on Thursday, they're gonna do this in their small group station where they're gonna do the same exact thing. So alphabetized, um, find it in the glossary, and then they have to create sentences or they can use the sentence that is in the glossary. So that's what they're gonna do for small groups. So that's vocabulary this week. So this is what they'll cut and use in vocabulary. These are their spelling word list. So, oh, I just texted her about that. My bad, I need to refer back to her, but she gave it to me. So these are our spelling word list, and then these are activities that go along with it. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in the word workstation. And then um, while I'm talking about word workstation and spelling, we're doing long vowels, secret E, silent E, secret E, whatever. So I'm gonna pass out their word list. And what we do on this word list is we um, like we'll underline blends, we'll box in any digraphs, We'll mark out the silent E and do things like that, like skills that they've previously learned. And so then that way they'll take this list home. And this usually takes quite a bit for them to um, decode the words and stuff. So we'll do that. And then on Tuesday, they're gonna cut out their spelling words. I'm still debating if I wanna do that, but um, I had them cut them out last time and we mixed them up and we alphabetized them and then I had them sort and glue them in their page and on it like a notebook paper. But I'm looking, hold on, I'm looking and so I see these, this is similar. So we have this page that's alphabetical order and silly sentences. Oops, I got two pages of those. Create a story, dictionary aid, look at that. Addition, word sort, spiral. So what I might do is instead of cutting out the words, we might just do like an alphabetizing page. I like that crossword puzzle. And so we might do the, where'd it go? the alphabetical order and I wish they had a sorting one I feel like they should have a sorting one they did last week 
So anyways, we'll figure it out, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So for spelling. So instead of like cutting them out, I think we're just going to do the alphabetizing page. And then if I can find a sorting, maybe we can sort the words as well. And then this goes over here for me. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna do a handout, um, page 11 and 15. That's a hideous looking five. Um, what I mean by that is, see here are the words that I had them cut out last. Like, this is what it looked like. Um, so this page we'll do together because page 11 is actually harder for them to do. Cause if you see, it says write two rhyming words from the word bank to answer the clue. And then I will have them complete this side on their own by me reading the question and then answering it. So that will be for, um, to, you know, that will be of page 11 and 15. Um, I don't know if I have long vowels on boom cards yet. I'm new to boom cards, so I really haven't bought any, so I need to look, and then I excel. So, if anything, I'll have them work on long vowel I excel or short vowels. I think it has a mixture of both, so I need to double check. Thursday is when we t um, review, so I usually will have them do sparkle zap, and then um, I will have them do um, spelling sentences, and then Friday we take our spelling test. So there is spelling. So we have vocab and we have spelling. And so now for reading, which goes correlates with vocab, I don't know why I did this. Um, monitor and clarify. I'm gonna read the story so they can hear it and know how it goes. And then we introduce figurative language and that's where my um, posters come in. And then um, students read. I'm not calling on students. I'm letting students volunteer because, you know, we're still at the beginning stages of reading for school, so no pressure on anybody. And then that's supposed to say idiom. Um, and then I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to have them find the idiom on this page, the simile on this page, and the onomatopoeia on this page and have them identify those skills. And then we'll review figurative language and monitor and clarify. And then they'll listen to the story and then they'll take their comprehension test. And then for our second story, um, we review, monitor, and clarify again. I read and then I'm going to answer the questions or so they have questions in their book. So we're going to do those together. And then I'm going to have them reread the story on their own. And then they're going to take the little quiz and small group time, small stations. So. They'll have a vocabulary station, a comprehension station, a word work station, and then they're gonna have a writing station, which they'll have a handout. Um, I'm either going to do four things that put you in a good mood, like Judy Moody, or, give me a second, or I might do the sentence, this, not the silly sentences, but the, I might do this one, create a story so that has their spelling words. So anyways, and sentence types, I haven't written out what I'm gonna do, but that shouldn't take long for grammar. Copy morning work. And I found Kahoot online. So. I need to go print my new, uh, copy my new phone.